The ILCO Easy Clone Plus will quickly and easily copy both fixed code and encrypted code transponder keys. It comes with everything shown here. The ILCO Easy Clone Plus unit, the power cord, the 12 volt transformer, the adapter to run the Easy Clone Plus from a vehicle's lighter socket, the snoop, an owner's manual, instructional DVD, a 9 pin serial cable, and a USB cable. The last two cables are only used for updating your software. Make sure you find the registration form, fill it out, and fax it back to Kaba Ilco so we can register your machine for you. The registration is very important to ensure you receive all future updates. To start up the Ilco Easy Clone Plus, plug the transformer cord into the back of the unit. Plug the power cable into the transformer and plug the other end into 110 volt current. Then just turn on the switch on the back of the unit. The main menu lights up and all you have to do is follow the step by step instructions on the screen. First, it directs you to Insert an Original Key. At this point, you take the customer's fixed code transponder key and insert it into the antenna well. Then you press the Read button. In a few seconds, it will tell you to remove the key, which means the Ilco Easy Clone Plus has successfully read the code of the original key. After you remove the key, you insert a new blank key and press the right button. When the screen says Operation Completed, you can remove the cloned key. At this point, if you want to make another clone, you simply insert another blank key and press Write again. But if you're finished, press Read and the menu will go back to the beginning, ready to start a new key. If at any time you wish to change the language, simply turn off the Ilco Easy Clone Plus, press and hold the Read button, and while continuing to hold, turn on the Easy Clone Plus. The display will show Select Language. Press Read to view the next language. And write to confirm and set the language. The Ilco Easy Clone Plus also clones Texas Instruments encrypted keys. First, insert an original key. Then, hit the Read button. You'll know the reading was successful when the screen tells you to remove key. At this point, the Ilco Easy Clone Plus is calculating the encryption and breaking the code. This will take a few minutes. When it's finished, the screen tells you to insert blank key. Then, press Write. In seconds, the screen will tell you Operation Completed, and you can remove the cloned key. The screen then asks if you want to make another copy. If you do, say yes by pressing the Write button. If you don't, say no by pressing the Read button and it takes you back to the main menu. The Ilco Easy Clone Plus will also clone automotive keys that contain Philips encrypted transponders. First, insert the customer's original key into the antenna well and press Read. The Ilco Easy Clone Plus will instruct you to remove key once it has completed reading the key. It will now instruct you to insert the snoop. The snoop 
is the included device used to capture the two-way communication between the key and the vehicle when Phillips encrypted transponders are used. Press right to continue the process. At this point, remove the snoop and place its elastic band around the head of the customer's key. Next, take the snoop with the key attached out to the customer's vehicle. Insert the customer's key into the vehicle's ignition and turn the key to the on position. You should notice one of the snoop's LED lights illuminating. Turn the key back to the off position and then back to the on position for a second time. You should now notice the snoop's second LED light illuminating. You have successfully captured the necessary data to finish the cloning procedure. Return to the Ilco Easy Clone and insert the snoop back into the antenna well and press right to continue. The information from the snoop will be retrieved and the screen will instruct you to insert original key. Place the customer's key back into the antenna well and press read. The Ilco Easy Clone Plus is now verifying the information retrieved from the snoop with the customer's original key. It will now display Key Data Processing. Once completed, the Ilco Easy Clone Plus will instruct you to insert EHP key. Insert the appropriate ILCO electronic key and press Write. The screen will say Operation Completed when it has written the transponder code to the key blank. The new key blank is now ready to be cut in order to operate the vehicle's mechanical locks. At this point, you have two options. You can press the Write button to make another copy of the key or press the Read button and go back to the main menu. ILCO Easy Clone Plus will also identify whether or not a customer's key has a transponder. Simply insert the key and press the Read button. If the key doesn't have a transponder, the screen will say Transponder not detected. To go back to the main menu, press the Read button again. Now I'll try a key that does have a transponder. Insert the key and hold the Read button, and ILCO Easy Clone Plus will identify the type of transponder it is. This is a Texas Crypto Transponder. If you'd like to clone this key, press the Write button then write the key. It's that easy.